You guys know me, I can't give up that easy. Let's see if we can split the rock. Good morning, modern setters. It's another nice chilly morning out. That's a perfect excuse to get a fire going in the Kalamazoo. Okay, so more to today's video. We need to build some sort of system so we can hang the pigs. And I showed you on Friday's Modern Stetter update, we got two telephone poles. If you didn't see that video, I'll put a link to it right here. This is what I'm thinking. I think we're taking one of the telephone poles, I believe they're 28 feet long, cutting it to around 18 to 19 feet long, burying four to five feet in the ground, mortising if it's thick enough, a mortise, and putting a six by six through it and protruding it out one end and then we can put our chain fall here so we can raise the pigs up, whatever animal you're harvesting, then we can have the hot water to scald them in under here. That's the plan. Now we need to go measure and see if it'll all work. And then we have a big hole to dig. That's not gonna be the fun part. But we gotta get it done. Good morning, pigs. Spots, what's the matter? You still sleepy? It's too cold to get up and out of bed this morning. Here are the telephone poles. I would need to cut it back to here. More to sit with my chainsaw, a square hole so I can slide the 4x4, 6x6, whatever I decide to use, through it. And then down here I would bury it. I'm thinking 4 feet or 5 feet. We'll go dig and we'll see how good, easy the digging is. They had it buried 8 feet. But it measures 12 inches by 10 inches at the base. The hardest part, I think, is just going to be standing it up. Digging the hole is not going to be fun. Standing it up, that's going to be the hard part. We don't have any equipment to do it with. So we got to dig the hole by hand and figure out a way to get the pole up. So if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments down below. I might not have it in the ground by then. There's the elusive Mrs. Pigs and Spots. This is going to make some great apple wood for smoking and cooking in the wood cook stove. This is the spot I'm thinking. I think this would be a great spot. I'll show you the location in a second. It's behind the outdoor kitchen, but still generally a good location to it. We have a flat surface. We can put some more gravel down and flatten it off. We're gonna be setting up a 55 gallon drum under it with a propane burner, so we're gonna need a level spot. And I'm thinking that this is gonna be where some of the dirtier action's gonna happen. And I don't wanna have it in front of the outdoor kitchen or high traffic area but this spot's still closed. Got the back side of the outdoor kitchen, the compost and toilet, the chimney with heat coming out of it. But we're not that far from the outdoor kitchen. And it's all nice, level walking. It's definitely a good morning for it. It's cool and chilly out, so this will help warm me up. I just hope it's easy digging. Some places around here it's good digging, in other places it's gravelly and just a lot of big rocks. I hope that's not the case here, but I'm thinking it's going to be.
this hat start getting a little warm. I can just flip up my ear flaps. <sighs> Digging holes. Gotta love them. We gotta get back to work now. Pulling a tooth. Tell you what, no hat on, got the vest off, I'm warming up. It's pretty deep. Looking like a good spot to dig the hole. Getting down there. Yep, the hole's getting deep. I hope I don't fall in. There ain't nobody here to pull me up by my feet. It'd be a long afternoon. One rock about four feet down there. Let's see if we can get it out. We'll dig deeper. If not, we're stopping. Let's see what happens. I don't know if I can get the leverage to get on it. Big rock. Oh, let's see how deep it is here in the front because we'll level off the background when we're done. Do the same height as the front. Four feet to the top of the bar. Nice. You guys know me, I can't give up that easy. Let's see if we can split the rock. There. Now let it split, can we get it out? Oh my goodness. I think that rock's in. Now that's how hard it usually is to dig a hole here at Lumna Acres, right from the beginning. So I must say, God's got a pretty good sense of humor. We dug a hole in a perfect spot. Couldn't have done that. And we got telephone poles two weeks before the hog harvesting class. It's one of the things I've been worried about and thinking about, where am I gonna hang the pigs from to scald them? Long and behold, I came home from work the other day and I had two telephone poles dropped off in the driveway. And then I picked the perfect location to dig a hole for one. It can't get any better than that. Cover that up. We don't want anything. We don't want cover that up. We don't want anybody or anything falling in there. Well, now I just gotta figure out the rest of it. I think the hardest part's gonna be getting it in the ground, but I'm not gonna worry about that. He said everything else figured out, so he's got this under control too. We need to figure out what telephone pole we want to use and what length and what ends we want to use. We're going to have to take this one, mark 20 feet. Let's see, 17, 18, 19, 20. So if we go right to that knot, we'll be good. Get the chainsaw going. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
Wasn't too sure how that was gonna cut. Didn't do too bad. Now let's see how heavy it is and drag it out of here. That's the big question. How hard is it gonna be to stand it up? Whew. Today we're gonna be using our homemade choker, which is a toe strap with a loop tied in it. So with this setup, the harder you pull, the tighter it gets. So it's not going to slip off of a, just a clean tree stump or a log like this. I welded a block of channel steel up top and I welded some D-rings to it. Works perfect for doing stuff like this. Just take my toe strap, hook it on. We got the whole dog today. We got the telephone pole cut and in position. Now I need to go inside and figure out exactly how I'm gonna build this and figure out exactly how I'm gonna get this in the hole standing up. Yeah, that's gonna be kind of fun, but I'm looking forward to it. I know we're gonna get it done. Everything else is lined up for us. This will too. We'll get it figured out. If I can't figure it out, I know the modern studies will help figure it out for me too. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it, it's really helping the channel grow. We wanted to thank all the modern steaders for that. If you want to dive deeper into the modern steader lifestyle, you can go on over to our new website where we dive deeper. See you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.